Hello friends, now we will see some examples from problem set and some examples from the students. Here is the example from a uh, student who sent me this example. See, here is a circle and angle A, B, C is inscribed in the circle. B, D is angle bisector of angle A, B, C. That means angle A, B, D is congruent to angle C, B, D. Here, E, D, uh, E, F is a tangent which touches the circle at point D. We have to prove that angle A, D, E congruent angle F, D, C. Now see proof, angle ABD is congruent to angle CBD as it is given and this is equation number 1. Now see, angle ABD, this angle, this angle is one half of arc AD and angle CBD is one half of M arc CD. That means this angle is one half of this, this arc. Here also, angle bisector theorem, from 1 to 3, we can say uh, that from 1 to N3, M arc AD is equal to M arc CD. See, here, these two are congruent they are in the left sides therefore the right sides are also same now see this angle ABE is one half of arc AD and angle CDF is equal to one half M arc CD this is also by angle uh, inscribed angle theorem 6 now see in the 4 equation arc AD is equal to arc CD arc AD and arc CD are in the right side therefore angle ADE from equation 4, 5 and 6 angle ADE congruent angle CDF and this is proved now see this example look at the figure here two circles intersect each other at two distinct points M and N. Line R S passes through point M and line P Q passes through point N. We have to prove R P congruent S Q. Proof. C. Quadrilateral R M N P is a cyclic quadrilateral. Therefore, M and Q is the exterior angle of this cyclic quadrilateral, M and P R. Therefore, the major of this angle is equal to the major of this angle because you know the property of exterior angle of cyclic quadrilateral that the major of exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the opposite angles of its uh, uh, adjacent interior angle. Therefore, these two angles are congruent. Here is the equation number one. Now see, angle uh, M N Q S is a cyclic quadrilateral in bigger circle. Therefore, angle M N Q plus angle M S Q is equal to one eighty because they are the opposite angles of cyclic quadrilateral. Now we will put instead of M N Q, its equivalent value is angle M R P. Therefore, angle MRP plus angle MSQ is equal to 180 from, from 1 and from 1 and 2. But these are these angles are interior angles. See these two angles are interior if the addition of two interior angles is 180 then these lines are parallel therefore rp is parallel to sq